In module four, you will learn how to add media albums and also import resources. The first video that you're going to watch right now is going to be how to add a media album to your course shell. So as you know, in your course shell, you have your folders um, that you um, had to use for your grade level. I always use grade four as my example. You should also have a practice items folder um, as well, since you had to create one in module three. You're going to be working in your practice items folder for this module. So you're gonna go inside your practice items folder. You're going to add a new folder. In that new folder, you're going to name it back to school. You still have sections linked. You can customize it how you how you see fit, but I'm not going to do any special customizations. So in this folder, I want you to put description. This folder is for the first week of school. 2020. and hit create. So now you're gonna click inside of this folder that is in your practice items folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a media album. So you're going to hit add materials, add media album. A media album basically allows you and your students to post media, which would be pictures, GIFs, JPEGs, PNGs, anything that is a picture, um, memes, anything, um, videos into an album so that it is like a, it's like a, an album, like a picture album that you would have on your table or it's like your gallery um, on Facebook or Instagram. So it's a way to connect with your students where they can upload images um, without actually putting them somewhere else. So I'm going to title this description um, as Now I'm going to hit create. You have some options here. You can individually assign this to certain students in your class. You can enable comments. You can add it where both instructor and the students can add media. Or you can copy it to courses. I'm going to actually disable my comments since this is for the first week of school and students won't know how to use it appropriately. If you disable here where it says instructors and students can add media, only you can add media. So there's two ways that you can do it. So I'm gonna create two different media albums to show you how you would have to work it if you say only instructors can add media. So this one will show you if only instructors can add media. So now I have to attach a file. this I'm gonna add the media 
and it shows up in my media album. And because I have link sections, I can go between each section. So that's how you add a media album. When your students click on, they will click add media here in order to add their media to this folder or media album. If you do not have a picture saved or you're looking for a specific GIF or meme, you can go in and you can Google It's going to bring up all kind of memes or GIFs or if I put I'm going to choose this GIF and I'm going to hover over it, right click, save image as Go back to my media album. I'm gonna add media. I'm gonna attach the file. And now I've added my GIF. So that is how you can can add items to your media album. So now I'm going to go back into my main folder, the Back to School 2021 folder, and I'm going to do another media album. So I'm going to add media album, and I'm going to type in this description, I'm going to say Images that represent comments, and I'm going to disable students being able to add media, and I'm going to cre create. So I've added my media. Now my students will not be able to add media. So I have to go back out to my main folder. I'm gonna to have to create an assignment. So in this assignment, I will name it Media Album Picture. Please submit your picture. It will be included in the Category is going to be ungraded. I'm going to put professional development. I do not want to sync to sys. And I'm going to hit create. Now, in order for students to put a picture here, they're going to have to put their submission in this assignment. And then I would have to take every picture that they put here and place it in that media album. So it is a lot quicker for you if you just have students put the pictures in the media album. If you do not trust your students or you feel that they would not uh, follow the directions of being digital citizens, then I need for you to go ahead and you'll have to create an assignment where they will submit the picture to you and then you will upload the picture in the media album.